Hello, welcome to Christ Center Gamer's video review of the J5Create JVA06 device. This is a pretty complicated device, okay? Um, it uh, does a lot of things, and explaining all of them is possibly beyond the scope of this, but I'm going to do my best to explain what I can and what I've figured out. So there's a lot to this thing, and it is pretty neat. So I'm going to switch cameras. Here we go. All right, so... Let's start with how I have this set up. I have my tiny little laptop, this is GPD-1 Max for the curious. And yes, that is me unboxing this device. I have the video out here. I also have a Nintendo Switch. It's an unofficial dock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, connected to this guy here, all right? And then I have this splitter. One goes to the monitor, and the other goes to this as input A. And then the switch goes to input B. B, and then we have another HDMI cable that goes to the monitor also, because that has picture and pit by picture, so I can show you the difference. This is the um, USB Type-C port that goes to my desktop. And then this is the audio cable for the audio mixing feature of this device. All right. This is my desktop computer. You can see uh, the mouse moving on it to prove it. Okay, so here is the actually OBS captured stream of what I'm currently showing and if you need you can also see this is the computer see that is the computer output for my little tiny computer this is my switch output and then here is both if you are so inclined which is pretty neat you can switch them all with the press of a button a b b a and you can also change the size of each display so if I hold it down uh hold up what is it is it this button yeah, there we go. So I can change the size of it up to a quarter and a little bit less. And if I push these two together, which is A, B together, I get picture by picture. So I have both devices, input, all right, and output. Now, uh, I did want to point out that uh, here is the original source unchanged by anything. This is the straight out of the computer. You can see the text of the Chroma looks good. Uh, I will go over here and show you. This is the pass-through video. So this port right here on this device, the HDMI loop out, does all the processing of that this device does. So the input mixing and picture and picture and all that stuff comes out here. All right. Now, as you can see, the chroma is not chopped up. There is no loss of detail. However, on this stream, there is the chroma subsampling. Um, um, cut down, which is not surprising because most video content you can't tell. But I just want to point out that the pass-through does not have that. I took pictures. You might be able to tell if you pause this video, but the um, the pass-through port is behind by no more than one frame. When I took several pictures side-by-side -side of the cloned output and this output, it's one frame behind at the most. Uh, which is great. I mean, honestly, it's got to do this. It's got to do this fancy picture by picture stuff somehow, right? It's got to be some processing. So being behind by no more than one frame is okay. And really, a lot of people's televisions or monitors lose a frame, and they don't even realize it. So I don't consider one frame a big problem. Uh, this J5. Uh, this is the um, OBS input or output. You know, the recording, and uh, just like the other GVA02, it is behind by I don't know four or five frames-ish. So I probably wouldn't want to play a game on this unless it's a slower paced game, you know, just watching the stream itself, but you can totally use the pass-through. Uh, one frame is not enough to usually cause a problem. Maybe on the, the most highest skilled fighters, you know, like uh, they use fight sticks, um, like Street Fighter type fighters, where, where every frame counts and they, and they count frames for their special moves. Maybe that's a problem, but for most people, this level of pass-through is completely acceptable. Okay, so, oh, you can see my switch is going to sleep. Eh, there it is. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm just trying to think of, oh, yeah, there's also the audio mixing feature this does. So not only does it do the video mixing, and you can switch to any one you want. Uh, here you can hear this, because I have it all connected. So that connects to my stereo. Yep, I got a crazy complicated setup at my desk. You can hear that, right? That's coming out of my speakers um, as I move the, the controller. Also... And that is 
you can see that is input two, right? So if I turn this off, no longer sound, right? I don't know if you can hear it. Hopefully the microphone is good enough. Um, to be more obnoxious, I will prove it by doing something a bit more demanding. So this is the computer that is driving these displays, but I figured since the onboard or the, the, the built-in screen would be a good test for uh, watching myself on YouTube. Yeah, aren't I, aren't I great? I just like to watch myself on YouTube. Here we go. So now we don't hear anything because I turned off the audio. However, if I turn it on, look at that. I can talking to myself, listening to myself. And, and you can see here, it's got the little volume lights. And if I move the switch, see, it glows lights as well for that. So you can see it each level. Uh, I, there might be a way. I, I'm not sure if there's a way to adjust the volume on this device. But there is a way to adjust the volume on your source devices in most cases. So I don't really consider that a major issue either. And it's also got a built-in microphone if I wanted to record myself, talk, you know, as a third audio source, I could use that and mix it also out the speaker out. Um, I believe OBS Capture can also capture that as an audio. I don't have it set up. Um, but anyway, this is really neat. The fact that I can do picture by picture. Oh, let me do that picture by picture. Picture by picture with the press of a button, as you can see on the half of my screen. Um, and it works with pass-through or OBS Capture or both at the same time, which is what I'm doing here. Um, I can switch between the two, just like a switch box with the press of a button. I can do multiple forms of picture in picture. If I just want to see one while I'm doing the other and even switch it just like you saw, a zoom in uh, effect. Uh, and you can also change the position too, just like that. Oh, and there's also one other thing I forgot to show you. So wrong button. Okay. So not so if I push these two together, I get the picture by picture, right? Now if I push it again, I get a stretch mode, kind of like a zoom in mode where it cuts off the sides, but uh, gives you full frame X frame use, right? That's pretty cool. I don't know where I would use that, but it is still really neat. There are definitely uses for this, um, depending on the game. Like let's say it's an arcade style game. Uh, where it's vertical and you only want to see the middle anyway. Works perfect, right? Um, and I did do photos in all these modes. And again, it's off by just frame-ish on the pass-through. And, uh, you know, five-ish frame. It's it's probably between 50 and, and 80 milliseconds behind. I have to do the math, but I think it's about right. But again, it's... I. What are you going to do? You know, it's, it's, it does a lot. So it probably adds an extra frame to what the GVAO2... Uh, did before its input, but it's 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 uh, it's pretty cool. This device does a lot of mixing, and it's all really easy. It's it's, not, it's pretty easy to use. You know, it's just audio on and off for these switches here for the, each of these sources. Uh, you know, again A, and then the different picture modes with the little buttons being or the little letters being the the source that's inside the other one, and then these two together being the uh, picture by picture modes. This is a uh, this is a pretty cool device. I don't have an immediate need for it, but man, is it neat. <laughs> uh, and uh, the video goofball that I am, I'll probably come up with some way to use the same, but it is cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that is what uh, this dual HDMI video capture adapter allows you to do. Um, it, I believe the MSRP is around 250. I didn't actually look this up before this video, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's right. And um, I guess if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask them on this video. But uh, I hope that helps, and uh, take care, and God bless.